Hello my dear YouTuber friends and I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome to this new video which is going to be a review of the T-Flight Thrustmaster T-Flight Holtas 1 for use on the Xbox consoles. Obviously in my case I've got the Xbox Series S so that I can play Flight Simulator 2020 on an Xbox console. And as you can see, that will release, hopefully, on Tuesday the 27th of July 2021. You can use this on the Xbox consoles and you can use it on PC as well. I got this specifically for Flight Simulator on the Xbox console. I didn't just want to use the gamepad. I wanted some kind of flight controller and this is one that's readily available at the moment. So I'm going to be reviewing this. I'm going to be using it on the Xbox Series S. I'm going to be probably playing the Star Wars Rogue Squadron to try this out to see how it feels. And I'm also going to be taking this over to my PC in the other room. I'm playing Flight Simulator with this controller uh, on the PC. So playing Flight Simulator 2021 with it, 2020 with it rather, to see how it performs. So let's get on with this video. Okay, I've just taken the whole task out of the box and it comes like this. It comes in two separate parts. Now initially I love the branding and styling of this. The white on the black there looks good and the Xbox branded buttons here of course and the white around here and the, I love that the white and black striped button here I think just looks fantastic. Makes it feel like a real sort of fighter jet joy uh, Holtas joystick, which it initially is. So I'm loving the styling of it. I'll show you a comparison of the Holtas 4 that I have. There's a picture of it. And initially, I love the styling of the Holtas 4 as well. Maybe it's because it's brand new, but I just like that white on black. Another thing, and it's a question that people have asked on my videos about the Holtas 4, how far apart can you have the throttle and joystick? Well, the answer is pretty far. That cable is quite generous between them. I don't want to put it too much further, but give that another few more inches, and you can have it, as you can see, quite far apart if you want to have it that way, if you want to use it that way. For myself, I'll join these together. I prefer these joined together. And I'll do that in a moment. There's actually a little Allen key. I believe it's on the back of here or the back of here. And you can just join them both together and have it as one unit. Also with this version, there's a switch there. I don't know if you can see that. It's got PC and Xbox. And that's pretty obvious. Play it on PC, switch it over to PC, play it on Xbox, switch it over to Xbox. You can see that connection there for the rudder pedals, T-Flight rudder pedals, which I also have. I'll link you a video in the top right of how I came about them from a very generous donator. One of my subscribers uh, donated them to me. It'll be interesting to see if I can use those T-Flight Holtas pedals with Flight Simulator on this Xbox console. I'll be trying it out and I'll let you know once it releases whether the uh, rudder pedals work. They might, they might not. It doesn't matter if they do or do not in fact because this has many options which I'll go into in a moment later in this video of using a rudder. It's got like a twist action on the joystick. It's got a rocker switch on the front of this throttle unit. You can also use as rudder. So you've got many options for rudder there. And yeah, initially I'm liking it. The cable, connecting cable. As you can see, it's quite a long cable. I'm quite near to my TV here, but if I sat back, or if I was way back from the TV, you can see, I don't know how long that is. A metre and a half, a couple of metres. It's 
quite a generous and long cable for the whole test one as well so that's good so anyway let's now get this connected together and let's play a little bit of Star Wars Squadrons with it to see how it feels so I've combined the two parts of my whole task and I've got Star Wars Star Wars Squadrons running let's some pause that and the joystick part all feels very good very linear very smooth very responsive it all feels very nice twisting the joystick lets you roll the ship in Star Wars squadrons fire button of course it all feels very good the throttle feels very smooth there is a bit of a caveat with this th throttle on the Holtas uh, 1 and I'll talk about that in a moment but it all feels very good so no problems there I'm not going to go into a review of how to use this in Star Wars Squadrons I'm just using this as a test but it all feels very nice something I should have mentioned previously you've got these extra buttons here and you actually have them on your gamepad as well the uh, Xbox button and the share button and the options button they're all here effectively if you have this plugged into your Xbox there's no need to use the gamepad which is good because all the buttons are there you've got more buttons here several buttons here and I've talked about those buttons up there and a hat switch in squadrons that behaves slightly different you don't look around with the hat switch in squadrons you assign different things like extra laser power extra engine power extra shields and to equalize that's what the hat switch is used for uh, by default in in Star Wars squadrons in flight simulator you can look around with that but I'll hopefully show that when it's released on the Xbox consoles you've got extra buttons obviously a trigger button here focus in you've got a button here as well that you can assign to things you've got an extra two buttons here and you've got a rocker switch here on my whole task 4 in flight simulator on the PC I actually have this rocker switch assigned to a pitch trim so pitch trim up and pitch trim down to trim the aircraft it's up to you where you what you want to assign that to of course and once again when flight sim releases on the xbox consoles i'll talk about that more on the release date or just after so plenty of options the caveat or the issue with the throttle here is that there's a detent or stopping gap halfway down the throttle or halfway up the throttle it's designed that way but some people may not realize when you buy a Holtas 1, Holtas 4, Holtas X I believe it's there with all of them some people may not realize that that's there something to be aware of it takes a little bit of pressure with this throttle on this specific unit it's nice and loose not too loose but it's very smooth and to get past that detent it's no pressure using one finger to get past it at all so very nice my Holtas 4 is a little bit stiffer that's the look of the draw with these Holtas you could get a very stiff Holtas or a very loose one too loose this one seems just about right it's just the look of the draw so it could be different with with each system but just be aware of that detent in the middle overall it behaves very nicely with Star Wars squadrons no issues with it at all I'm enjoy actually enjoying playing Star Wars squadrons with the whole test I've always used the gamepad previously but it all feels very nice and very responsive so it's working well as intended what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna move on to my PC or I'm gonna go onto my PC download any drivers required for the whole task one on the PC and let's play some flight simulator with the whole task one 
and so over on the PC. Now I plugged my Holtas 1 into my PC, ensuring, like I showed you before, on the front of the Holtas, you've got that selector switch between Xbox and PC. Obviously, I moved it to PC before plugging it into my PC. If I go to options here and controls, with the Holtas 1, you'll see the actual picture comes up. It's not surprising. I mean, it's supported by Xbox and goodness knows what. So Microsoft has probably got their hand in it as well. So you get the picture with the Holtas 1. You don't get this with the Holtas 4, which is interesting. Another interesting thing is that most of the controls was already set up for me. Now, this may be some kind of conflict or because I had my Holtas 4 set up. I think it's possibly copied a lot of my controls over, including my sensitivities. I've not need to really touch anything. I've just changed one or two little things. And I'm not gonna go into that in this video. I'm not gonna actually confuse the issue. I got the Holtas 1 for playing Flight Simulator on the Xbox consoles. So I won't go over in this video my settings and sensitivities. I'll wait till the Xbox version releases, then I'll go over my settings and sensitivities for that, and then I'll come back and do my PC settings and sensitivities. It's pretty much the same as my Holtas 4 setup, and I'll link that in the top right for you. But don't confuse the issue, wait till the Xbox version is released, and then I'll do a new video on settings for the Holtas 1. Anyway, so it's all set up, I didn't need to download any drivers, I just plugged the Holtas 1 into my PC, which is interesting as well, and it worked okay. I've gone to world map, got the Cessna selected. Let's do my usual uh, flight route, which is from London City, flying into London. Set as departure, and let's go fly. Okay, so I'm on London City Airport, or at London City Airport, one of the runways, runway 27. I'm just using my Holtas to control everything here. I prefer the quick views left and right, it all works as should be, and I prefer that sort of instrument view there, using the hat switch, rather than looking around freely in the cockpit, that's the one I prefer. Let's just throttle up and release the parking brake, using the twist action on the flight stick, which works lovely, as the rudder. So when you want to move on the ground, you want to stay on the ground, I'm just twisting the flight stick and that works nicely we can take off now I'm just gonna trim up using the rocker switch on the front of the throttle on the Holtas one and that all works nicely the throttle itself the only thing I don't like about this Holtas one, the one I've got, is the throttle could be a bit tighter. It's a bit too loose. Could be a bit firmer when I'm moving the throttle up and down. So when I'm trimming using the rocker switch on the front of the rocker, on the throttle rather, I've got to be careful that I'm not moving the throttle when I'm tri trimming. But it's not too much of an issue, I just wish that throttle was a little bit tighter, but it's good enough. I'm not making this a tutorial, so let's just fly around. I'll just go left, put a bit of, uh, feed a bit of uh, rudder in there as well, by twisting the joystick. And it all works nicely. Trim down a bit here, using the rocker switch on the front of the throttle. And as you can see, that works as intended. Let's go to our right, feed in a bit of rudder. Yeah, it all works as good as the Holtas 4. In fact, if I didn't have my Logitech flight yacht system, that's the one obviously I prefer to fly with on PC. If I didn't have that, certainly I would be using the Holtas. It feels very immersive, feels very accurate and 
very nice to fly as well. Feels like you've got hold of a control of uh, aircraft controls. Not specifically a yoke, or Cessna yoke, obviously. But it does feel like you've got hold of a flight control using the hull test. And that's all you can ask for, and it just works lovely as you're flying around. Let's come back towards the airport, in fact. Oh, that wasn't very con well controlled. Let's come back towards the airport. And I'll just do a sort of ad hoc landing here. We'll call it an emergency landing, shall we? So the airport's just ahead of me. Let's trim down. Go to our right, use one of the buttons on my hull task to deploy flaps. Trim down to compensate for that sort of uh, upness it gives you when you de deploy flaps. Or that raise in altitude. Slow down. Now the throttle works nicely. I just, like I said, I wish it was a little bit firmer on this specific halt task that I've got. On my halt task 4, it is firmer. And it just works a little bit better. But it's not too bad. It's a little bit loose, or looser than I would like. Like I said, if you want to go and look at videos on how to make the throttle firmer on your hull task, there are videos out there. Don't ask me to link them because I've not even looked at them myself. And I can't recommend anything that I've not actually viewed. Second stage of flaps. I want to slow down a lot more here. I'm actually just using my joystick now. Instead of using trim, I'm just using my uh, joystick just to line up. It's a bit of an ad hoc. This is not going to be uh, a landing by the textbook, as it were, or by the book. But I'm purposely using my joystick, and that feels nice. It feels nice to control the aircraft when it's coming into land as well. Very nice. Very immersive. As you can see, the joystick itself and the controller, it's just all working very, very nicely indeed. Just gonna float above this runway. Remember which button I've got my brakes set to. Yep, I've got that. Raise my flaps. And there you go. So it works well with, on the PC version of Flight Simulator 2020, the Holtas one. Let's now take you to my conclusion. And so there you go. That's my review for the Holtas one. Using it on the Xbox Series S, and it will work with the Xbox Series X and the Xbox One and Xbox One X. Let me know your thoughts below. Another thing I'll mention, I got this from a company called Tech In. I'll leave the link to that of where I got it in the description. Cost me £65 and £10 PMP, so £75 altogether, which is the going rate for the whole task one. It took it nine days for this to arrive to me. I placed the order. Uh, and in nine days, it arrived. And it went all over Europe. It went to France, through, Thran uh, through France, rather, Holland, other places in Europe, and then it came to me. But nine days isn't too bad. Fear not, when Flight Simulator releases on the Xbox consoles, first videos I'll be doing are with the gamepad. Because that's how the majority of people will be playing it. I'll release videos about me using the gamepad, my settings for it. Those are the first videos I'll be doing. And then afterwards, I'll release videos about my settings for the Holtas 1. Let me know your thoughts, though. Are you looking for a Holtas system for your Xbox console to play Flight Simulator 2020? Or are you going to wait out for the Yoke systems to release? 
let me know your thoughts give the video a like if you've enjoyed it subscribe for more of course many more flight simulator videos on the way and i'll see you soon